Hi. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're riding along on Route uh, 333, sometimes called uh, Peggy's Cove Road, because it does lead to Peggy's Cove. However, we're not quite going that far today. We're going to Indian Harbor, which is just outside Peggy's Cove. I've put a lot of thought into doing this video, and I've been somewhat reluctant to, to do it. Uh, because it's not a happy video. Uh, but it is about an event that's very important in Nova Scotia history. And it's of interest to a lot of people. And that is the Swiss Air Flight 111 crash, which was just outside Peggy's Cove in the Atlantic Ocean. Swiss Air Flight 111 was a scheduled international passenger flight from John F. Kennedy International Airport to Geneva, Switzerland. There were 229 passengers and crew aboard that flight. And on the way to Switzerland, it crashed in the Atlantic Ocean about five miles from shore outside Peggy's Cove. All 229 passengers and crew on board were killed. That made that crash the deadliest McDonnell Douglas aircraft accident in aviation history. The investigation carried out by the Transportation Safety Board of Canada concluded that flammable material used in the aircraft's structure allowed fire to spread beyond the control of the crew, resulting in the crash of the aircraft. Because of this crash, several wide-ranging recommendations were made and have been incorporated into new U.S. Federal Aviation Administration standards. The first search and rescue groups to arrive on the scene were, were private uh, fishing boats out of the Peggy's Cove area. They were joined by helicopters from a Canadian Forces Base in Shearwater, which is not that far away in Halifax. I know two of the men who were part of that search and recovery operation. Both are now retired career military. One of them was a 30-year veteran who served two tours of duty in Afghanistan told me that the recovery operation in Peggy's Cove was the most traumatic experience he had in his entire career. After the crash, two memorials were erected. One in an just outside Peggy's Cove near Indian Harbor, an area called Walesback, and the other where the remains of the victims are buried in Bayswater. Today I'm visiting the Walesback to turn into the memorial site in just a 
short while. So, uh, after uh, I park, uh, I'll stroll up the walkway to the memorial. Two years ago, on September 2nd, 2018, which was the 20th anniversary of the crash, a commemorative memorial service was held at the, at the other memorial at the Bayswater for the victims, and it was attended by family and friends. there now. So, let's just look around.